That's really freaking cool. Keep that trend up in a few months from now, we'll have some initial doctors. We hit 50, 50, 55 <laughs> consistently. Um, they might see that as an improvement. Yeah. If they don't, they don't. And they, they probably did their own tests too, as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, no. honestly, it's I've just gone into triage and just tried to save the leg and low body and haven't paid attention to the, the hands as much. Okay. That's the honest answer. So yes, they have tests, but they're old. They're the last, it's been the lower body for the last few years. Seven years. And it's long remembered also has an air pen too here and here through the, the um, forearm, so you're, you're, you're fixing this one too. So just kind of getting a general sense of, you know, what moves, what doesn't, and he's pretty reactive everywhere. Like, kind of hit here, right in the tricep, I should see that. <laughs> So is that healthy, positive reactivity? Uh, yeah, or? it's almost a little bit exaggerated, like because your whole body's moving. It should be here. Okay. Uh, so we'll kind of work this area. There may be some surface um, resistance, you yeah. know, getting that startle response. Yeah. Uh, so I should, you know, when I hit this area, it should see a nice smooth contraction. So we'll work this tissue a little bit. Great. Yeah, it's pretty Just working the ligament struthers here, kind of where the ulnar nerve fires through. It fires right down the left pinky and the left ring finger, yeah. very strong. So I'm just going to gra grab his hand here. So I'm going to fire up, make him contract here. Go ahead and open. All the way, extend. Good, and relax. So here's a relaxed response. I hit here, I grab his fingers, and then go ahead and extend. Good. And again. Good. And again. Good. And again. Good. All right, now a different spot. Curl those fingers, go ahead and extend again. Wow. Again. Ring finger. Yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna back off on, on the power just so he can move that ring fingers. Bicep work. I'll get him to. I'm just gonna extend all the way. Good. Now relax. I'll grab his bicep, make him elbow flexion, and we'll extend. Good. See what happens with the tricep. If I start him out here, no, 90 degrees, I hit the tricep. And can I? Okay. So kind of a weak tricep contraction here. So I'm kind of just moving around. So I should, if I touch here, the the tricep should extend uh, the elbow. This gross nerve damage in this this set of tricep and the middle one, the inch, this and this, okay. are. So that's probably the damage. Yeah. So, 
usually if I had a good site to work with, I, I would I would see if this is okay. Is it a little bit stronger contraction on this side? Yeah. Over here. So we found the tricep kind of sleepy here. So I'm going to take a fat tool and we'll start to kind of free up the fascia. Usually with the fat tool stuff or the grassing tool, it just speeds things along, kind of wakes up that muscle a little bit faster. So I'm just doing very light. No, I'm not destroying that tissue. And I'm just working the, um, the tricep here. Okay, so even if I hit here, that's that's starting to go. So mm -hmm. let's see if you start here. Just relax it. Okay, so we're getting that contraction. So let the let the technology tell you where to treat and how much to treat. I'll come back and you know, as it starts to get a little bit more reactive, we know stuff is starting to happen. Yeah. Boom. Okay, so let's let's go back to you know, try to keep everything the same. You want to take all the way up the forearm now and have no okay. feeling of the forearm. So he, he's got a good sensation. There's a little bit of improvement in sensation. Uh, I kind of want to see more function better. I want this to kind of, you know, ideally we want it to go all the way down. All right, so let's just keep working. Just check the bicep. So let's start him here, relax, hit the bicep. Okay, so a little bit, the quality is a little ratchety. It should be a little bit smoother. Let's just kind of compare this side. Yeah, okay. So, quite a difference here. The right one still has residual nerve damage from 10 years ago. The left nerve damage has gone down to the wrist, so therefore the left one is healthy. Yeah. It's night and day. Oh, okay, it's starting to go. <laughs> okay. So my thing is, okay, so we work the tricep. You know, is the tricep kind of sleepy and blocked? Or is the bicep not allowing for tricep extent uh, for tricep extension? Uh, so let's work on the bicep part. Release this, and then check the tricep and see if that changes the resistance. So I'm doing a little ART on the on the bicep here. I think the most important thing for practitioners is to keep thinking. Like as you're treating, don't be brain dead and just rub on people. You know, think. You know, why? I spent enough time on the tricep. Why is that not responding? You know, look look elsewhere and and see. We get up more into the origin here. And 
We're just going to get deeper into this bicep. Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and extend. Good. Relax. Extend. Good. Okay. So let's come back. Now same pressure. Just kind of hit hit the bicep. That looks better to me. Yeah. Okay. So let's hit the tricep. Let's see if that did anything to the tricep. So relax position. I'll hit the same spot. Okay, no. Okay, so it might be just time. We just need to charge this tricep a little more. Sometimes you'll get it in, in the same treatment. Sometimes it will take 10 treatments. But you're always looking for improvement in the contraction. So another thing I've been playing around with is doing Golgi tendon. Uh, so I'm going to work the tendons here in the tricep, just kind of strumming it back and forth. Um, I've kind of found with a, with a stroke patient who is like rigidity won't allow it. You start working the Golgi tendons, and you'll start to give. Let's, so let's try to do this here. distal insertion and now the proximal insertion. Come back and try. Start here. Well, not quite. So let's actually, so let's do muscle spindles. So muscle spindles are in the middle of the, middle of the um, uh, belly of the muscle. So let's just separate. And this is kind of taken from AKA muscle spindles um, work. Put it in there. And definitely, if I hit the belly of the muscle, that tricep fires. But I'm looking for this one because this is what I'm working on. We've got stuff to work on here. You're know, not going to get it all the way more, depending on what your goal for the treatment is. You know, I might come back to this a little later. This nerve damage has been 10 years, yeah. and you're already doing new things to it in the last six weeks to okay. put things into perspective for everybody. Yeah. Left hand was 12 years, this was 10. So let's uh, let's stay on this. Um, let's do brachial plexus nerve roots because uh, it may be um, blocked there too. So I'm just going to slide everything. That's the neurologists see neurologists and neurosurgeons seem to think that's where it's comes where it originated. So it's amazing you guys can work with this. Okay, so. I am just working the anterior scalene here, right behind the SCM. There's some lymph drainage stuff there. Let's 
see it here. So let's just get a sense of how much jumping there is. If I hit here, okay, so you see the shoulder moving there. Same spot on this side. Okay, a lot more, a lot more contraction. If you had to uh, rate that, you know, this is a 10. Yeah. What's this? Uh, two and a half. R really? That, that low? Um, let's do them both again to be sure. So yeah, that's I mean, that's, pretty that's strong. A 10, that is a 3. 3? Okay. That's a huge difference. How far? Do you feel this down in your thumb? No. How about this it side? This goes all the way to the end of my fingers and thumb and pointer finger. Okay. Like with urgency instead of speech. But okay, so left side he feels all the way down into his thumb. Yeah. Right side. How far down? Um, I mean, it doesn't even get past the bicep and tricep. It's okay, so like, like here or further down? No, here. It's, okay. It doesn't get past here. Okay, so that's that's also a measuring stick. You know, touch here, boom. Feel it all the way down the, the thumb, that, which is a normal response. And then here, not so much. So through treatment, we want to f him to feel the energy flow all the way down to the, to the thumb. Okay, so always try to get some like measuring sticks, you know, to see what changes, what doesn't change. And that will help you, you know, figure out where to treat, you know, how long to treat. Are you going to stay there the whole session, kind of waking that stuff up, or are you going to move on? Do you have to work on different tissues? And there's a titanium plate before screws at C17. Good. Like, just okay. Yeah. So titanium's uh, plate, C7, T1. Um, yeah. So they did a, a cervical fusion, right? Yes. One, uh, one level or both levels? One level. One level. Okay. C7, T1. But the nerve, when they fused that to save the left hand 12 years ago, 10 years ago, pressure above took out the right hand. So that's essentially what you're working on right now is the the fallout of like two years after the fusion, pressure above took out this hand and that's what we're trying to recover again from a decade ago. Yeah, so I feel this uh, adhesion right here. So we'll do some work here. Kind of do it like a strumming, strumming like guitar strings here. It feels good, but it's so not intense that I don't even feel the electrical. I almost feel only like massaging the previous spot. But now I feel electrical. So we're getting underneath the clavicle, subclavius, real important points in here. So sending the energy through my thumb on my left hand doesn't feel great on my hand, so I'm going to go with fingertips. So I, I can start to feel it contract, the pec. Subclavius right there. Anterior delt. Okay. Uh, pretty equal. Yeah. Let's do a little bit of pec minor stuff. Let's come back. 
Let's see if it did anything to the tricep. Hmm. Maybe a little bit. I can feel it down to the back of the hand now. Okay, I'm going to change the frequency of the machine. Let's work with the high frequency because it's the tissue has been blocked for so long. I want more packets of energy, like faster. Otherwise, I'm going to be here all day. So let's start to work this. Now let's get down the fingers. So now I can start to, okay, now it's starting with the higher frequency, it's starting to move a little bit better. So I hit the bicep, control, tricep, and there we go. So as I contract his bicep, I'm going to have him extend. So he's going to go against, okay, and then, okay, and I'm going to hit his tricep, and then now he's going to contract, okay. Go. So this kind of just gets his brain involved a little bit. So relax here. Let me do this. Okay, so interesting. I I can't get his tricep to contract, but if I fire his bicep and then there we go. Okay, what did we do before? Okay, so that kind of regressed a little bit. Interesting. Yeah, I can grab his bicep. Oh, what? Weird. Okay, so that's maybe we gotta fire up the the brachial plexus here a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow, yes. Okay, I'm going to hit his tricep here. And hit him belly of the tricep. Yeah, I got the belly of the tricep. Still, this outer lateral head of the triceps. The lateral head is the one that got the most significant damage to the for the um, EMGs that they did over the years. 